Good evening, Internet. Library fans, welcome to Stump the Artist. My name is Roxanne. I'm the one who's depicted on your right. I'm a librarian at Mood Township of the Library. And I'm going to turn down this music a little bit so you can hear me better. Uh, this is a improvisational art and comedy show. Uh, I am both a librarian at Moon Township and also an artist sometimes. On the left of your screen, my fellow artist who may or may not be stumped is my friend, Paul. Paul, how are you? I'm doing great. Hello, library heads. That's me you see on the left, the sleep challenge gentleman there. <laughs> Sleep, uh, sleep challenged. Sleep challenged, yes. Is it's it stump indeed? <laughs> no, it, are you sleep challenged because like you tried to put on longer sleeves and then they just fell off? You know that would explain the expression on my face there. It certainly uh, would. Something unexpected happened. Yes, like you you might have been wearing long sleeves or like a full hoodie because you are a hoodie guy. I am a hoodie guy. And then they just they just exploded off in some way. Yeah. Well Yeah. And I was not prepared. No. For such a thing. And that would that would not surprise me given that uh, the whole reason why we're here doing Stump the Artist, why is it called that? The hypothetical people on the internet. <laughs> it's called that because there are some evil overlords who are holding the library hostage money. They may or may not actually exist. Don't think about it too hard. And um, we have to submit to their evil whims. You can see how evil they are holding that money hostage. Mm -hmm. um, coming up with different uh, media franchises, books, movies, etc. So they can make more money and then maybe one day release the funding. Guys, they're... We hope and we pray. Yeah. And, and you know, they, they try the hardest to, to make us panic and, and make us feel stumped. It's... It's an unknowable evil. But unfortunately... Shudders and the shivers. Th yes. Even though it's completely fictional, we're pretending it's an unknowable evil. <laughs> that is out to get us. <laughs> so, um... We've actually been doing this for uh, a few months now. Hey, you're overlord, go away. Go away, show. Um, <laughs> we've been doing this for a few months now, so we're actually going to help uh, wean you new people in, as this is our first recorded episode, which is not at all giving all of us anxiety. Not one bit. Not one bit. <laughs> in case our ang anxious faces aren't uh, enough proof of that. Um, we're going to go through some of our um, old creations and bring them back for you, and also kind of introduce you to both the canon of things that we are going to be referencing at some point or another. <laughs> And um, also just how this how this show works. So we're going to uh, switch to and way back when um, one of the first things we did was uh, so the the suggestions that the evil overlords could give us are completely randomized. Uh, so the first one that we got way back in the day, well, not the very first one, but one of the first was uh, I believe it was a an animal and a genre, and we got action salmon. Action Salmon. We, we're a fan of Action Salmon. We've had other people say they're fans of Action Salmon. Um, and that they demanded t-shirts. <laughs> an are, instant hit. An instant hit. And so I, I said, well, I guess a good introduction would be, we only established the character of Action Salmon. We did not do the Evil Overlord's full bidding. Because we don't have any media for Action Salmon. It's unacceptable no. by their standards. No, it's it's yeah, they are they are very exacting in the way that they don't exist and demand things upon upon us. So Paul, you are you are the beautiful creator of Action Salmon. They want us to come up with the I guess the the, the base movie movie? I don't know. You think movie and novelization i think that's i think that's fair the, the inevitable uh, novelization right I mean, yes it's gonna happen i mean they might even be simultaneously released you know sometimes yeah. star wars does that maybe i don't know Yeah, exactly you gotta get the kids to read oh of course but this is definitely not going to be a kid appropriate series so we no. gotta come up with who the um i can't remember what the if it's deuteragonist or not but the other protagonist the one that action <laughs> salmon is tasked with protecting 
So, all right, I gotta pull up the evil randomizer of evil. Let me give you some little, little bit more music. And boom. All right, this this seems good. They are a waiter. Okay. Oh, wow, that has implications. Yes. Oh, wow, it really does. It really does. Paul, would you mind writing that down so I don't so we don't forget? We are dealing with a. Whoop, that's not a pencil. <laughs> it's it's fine. A waiter. A waiter. There it is. Oh, and you underlined it. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Now we gotta find out what kind of waiter this is. I'm gonna pull up the other evil randomizer. The, the, they are flexible and have long hair. Flexible waiter. Hair. back down a little bit. Long hair. All right. So now, now we got to think. So I'm thinking for the setting, this, this action salmon is definitely on land. We don't know how, but we, I'm know how. we don't know why. Yes. But it's, well, we might know why we don't know just how. Yes. But it's definitely on land. Um, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna try to move Action Salmon. Here we go. A little bit. So we have. That is a bit of a reference here. Yeah, I'm sorry, Action Salmon. I'm sorry. I messed up all your settings. Okay. So this is this is our reference. So we know. Sometimes. <laughs> this is it's only for. This is definitely not to scale. No. <laughs> One massive salmon. Yes. When when salmon y salmon. Alright. Okay, so we need a flexible waiter with long hair. Okay. So I feel like um since you are the creator of Action Salmon, I think I will make you responsible for, for recreating Action Salmon. Let's so let's try to get uh the waiter in. Yes. Okay. Now are you thinking what are we thinking for the waiter? Are we thinking? Do I do I need to uh, find up another find another randomizer for you? Uh, I guess not necessarily. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering what our what's okay. our angle? Okay. Okay. Well, let, let me let me do. This is a mean, ill-tempered waiter. I, we can, we can maybe say they got a they got a tough, bad attitude. So these two are not gonna get along. You know, I'm I'm guessing it's gonna be like most buddy cop things, in that they might not get along in the slightest at first, but then they then they become friends by the end. Like this person did not asked to be rescued by Action Salmon. I think I'm unintentionally doing a bit of a uh, boobs and butt, f butt pose and I'm very sorry. Sometimes it's just it's just what happens. Oh, yeah, it just it just came out organically, like how you just are organically capable of making making buff salmon. <laughs> Biceps just come so naturally, to me, but not to me, to my art. Man. Yeah, if only if only they came as easily to your art as they did to you. I wish that I. Uh, was more physically capable. More, more, more like action salmon. Yeah, I action. wish I was more like. I want to be action salmon when I grow up. I think that's a good goal. Um, 
Action Salmon seems very capable. And not just because Action Salmon is a salmon who is, who is rescuing people out of water. Yeah, like, you know Action Salmon is capable if he's starting out outside the river. Alright, now I remember my one of my critiques of my original Action Salmon were his mouth. Salmons have, like, a weird... They, they they don't have that 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 luscious lips of a mouth. Yeah, it's more like a not a beak, but you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, it might have been a beak at some point in its evolutionary process. This is true. So I'm gonna give this. If they're mean, I feel like it's uh, it's we got some brass knuckles. That are going on here and i feel like that's just it's just part of you know they got to deal with a lot of bad customers and i yes. mean that in like the actual way of dealing with bad customers they work in a bad part of town yeah so it's not so much like mean for being for mean sake as it is a as it is a self-protective thing they've been they've they've had to become this way mm -hmm. you know you, you got you got to make it on those mean those mean streets of um, the restaurant district, <laughs> and so he, here is here's what I'm thinking. You know, they they were originally on the opposite sides of these food wars. Yeah, because salmon is, as some of you may know, often served at restaurants. I'm gonna make it extremely long here. But then they find out that, um, how about let's say that, cause, and because I just watched an episode of Kitchen Nightmares, that the, the owner uh, has actually been the one making this, this waiter's life real tough. Actually, they don't usually have it that kind. Uh, and so they team up to take down the, the evil owner of this, of this, of the restaurant. And, you know, prevent wage theft, because wage theft is bad. That's actually one of the morals of this uh, film and by extension novelization. Mm -hmm. Wage theft is bad. Yeah, it is. And, uh, you know, they don't, don't steal the tips of your servers. Otherwise, they might have to team up with an anthropomorphic hero that does not normally belong on land and seek vengeance it's not what you want they're gonna ruin your ruin your day so there was a secret uh evil randomizer role which was that this is a transgender person and i'm kind of feeling like they might also be you know they're kind of leaning into the transness and that they are uh their gender is not immediately uh evident so maybe they're also a little bit non-binary. All right, yeah, I, I take that. Androgynous. It's yeah. A fun word. Yes, although of course you know you can be non you can be androgynous 100%. and not be non-binary and non-binary not 100%. be androgynous. Whereas I mean I think we are we are in agreement that Action Salmon is definitely like just just duding it up. If if salmon have testosterone, he's got it. He's I, got a lot of it. You know, I've watched a lot of nature specials, and so I can't say that I remember them saying that they didn't have a lot of testosterone. So we can just we can say yes because Action Salmon is it's nature. Well, it's uh, that, and also Action Salmon is his own man. Action Salmon, he's his own man. F fish man. He's, he's his, his own fish. <laughs> He's his own fish man. <laughs> All right. Oops. It's not supposed to be painted yet. Oh boy. So I mean, we could, we could just say that it's in Hell's Kitchen, but I I only know that that's a place in New York. 
So maybe it's not quite Hell's Kitchen, but someplace that's kind of like it. I don't know. Um, Hex Prep Center? I don't know. <laughs> what if it's... What if it's... Alright, so what if, what if it's uh, a body of water related? Like, Hex... Uh, s -s -s uh, what's the river? Styx. Um, okay. So that would that would be Hades, if you're thinking of, of specifically yeah. of the river Styx. Um, so what, I do like the Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. So like so. Hex, <laughs> Hex bathroom. <laughs> Hex, Hex, do, oh, Hex you know washroom. What? You know what? Hades galley. Yeah. There we go. I was thinking like there have to be more synonyms. <laughs> for a kitchen that I'm thinking of. Yeah, like... Yeah, I love that. That's what we're going with. Okay, cool. So so now... You know, Action Salmon's the hero. Well, one, I guess, one of them. Uh, but certainly... Um, I would say... this This other protagonist, this waiter... I'm gonna make sure that they have their book in there. It was around. Worked in a restaurant long enough to know that they would have have books <laughs> in that pocket, in addition to all their cash. Um, sad tip. One waiter told me that um, that muggers will target people wearing black uh, late at night because th that tends to be what color that uh servers wear. They tend to wear all black and they're most likely to have cash. Terrible. And that's that's why this this one doesn't mess around. That's that's why they're mad. That's why I'm, I'm gonna say she. I'm getting a she vibe. I'm getting a, an AMAB, AMAB she off of this of this woman. AMAB, by the way, short for A, uh, assigned male at birth. No, not everyone knows that. I didn't know that, so we're all learning. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I, I know a lot of things and not all of it's useful. I feel like that one is. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, so, yeah, they, they slash she, maybe they're fluid, I don't know, know that, uh, oh, wow, that is a very large pen. Whoops, there we go. They got a little, watch out. And that's why they got they're good they got a bad attitude. In the the brass knuckles, because they know like, oh man, these you know, everyone's just trying to steal from me. Including my boss. Oh, you know what? What if her boss what if her boss, the owner, was also in charge of the 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 brigands? Who mug all the waiters in town? Ooh, yeah, it's a, it's a, a reverse. Well, I suppose. What's what's his name? Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna say yeah. <laughs> Are you thinking of um, Fagin from Oliver Twist? Because that's what I was thinking. A hundred percent. That's what I was thinking. All and right. I, I, I second guessed myself, and you never do that. Yes, so it's kind of, it's kind of a little bit of a Fagin scenario, minus the anti-Semitism. Yes. Yeah. Darn it, Fagin. You gotta say, not not fun to like read uh, <laughs> Oliver Twist for the first time and be like, why why do they keep bringing up the fact that he's Jewish? And it's just like, all right. All right. You know, I agree. Anti-Semitism generally not necessary. I would say it's never necessary. <laughs> yeah. So I think we figured out why they team up, but we need to figure out why they don't like each other first. Yeah. 
Now, is it just because uh, it's a seafood restaurant? Yeah, you know what? That would make sense. Like, Action Salmon doesn't trust doesn't trust her. Yeah. And she's just got a bad attitude, so she's not going to take any of this. Yeah. This poop. Yeah, Ac Action Salmon is like, hey, look, I'm I'm also a health inspector or something. <laughs> I've you know. I've heard reports that the, the the I mean I'm against I don't know I'm lost the tr I've lost my track my train of thought now. Sir, you're a fish. Yeah, we serve we 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 serve your kind here. <laughs> In that. And not the way you'd like. And not the way you'd like. It's like look, I'm just trekking down a lead. I don't want to be here any more than you want me to be here. I'd like to speak to your manager. Well, good luck, buddy. I haven't seen him in ages. Every time a problem comes around, he leaves it to me. And sometimes it's just that the the fryer is broken, and man, okay. is that a bummer. <laughs> Sounds like a win to me. Look, this is what I do for a living. I like talking to people, I like giving them delicious food. It's not my fault that people like to eat seafood. I, I, I did think I do think that one of the taglines has to be he's a loose cannon cod and doesn't play by the rules I was trying to think of the yeah of the wording of that of like he's a loose cannon cod nothing to lose yeah uh, he's a loose cannon cod who doesn't play by the rules and then you know we're gonna have some some uh Icky theologists, which I believe means fish scientists. Very that sounds that sounds right. Who are gonna be very mad? And we're mixing them up, and we're sorry. But Action Salmon is his own fish man. Can't take that away from him. And you know he also has to deal with fish related bigotry, and that they keep calling him a cod, and he's a salmon. No wonder he's so mad. And you know what? That's actually something that um, she, who we'll name eventually, and uh, he can relate to, is that, you know, she's had to deal with being misgendered, and he's had to be deal with being misspecied. Misspecied? Yeah, I'm gonna pretend that's a word. It is a word. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with how well this protagonist has turned down as quickly as it has. It, I mean... It really shouldn't have. <laughs> it really should look much worse. It's looking great. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's just because I did a whole lot of drawing today, so I'm like all warmed up. It worked out in our favor. Yeah. Because the other option was be like, I can't art at all today. I'm I drew too much and I'm really burned out. Here's a stick figure. <laughs> yeah, they're they're. I'm guessing they're flexible because they were they're also a dancer. But you know, they, you gotta pay the bills. You gotta pay the bills, and you know it's hard to get a a, a decent dancing job out there. It really is. You, you gotta know people. It's all about eating it. Yeah.
I'm writing down Hades Galley before I forget we tapped. Yes, oh no, that was really good. <laughs> Setting is important. Setting is very important. This is going to be too big. <laughs> Luckily, that's what loop tools are for. Open modern technology. Oh man. Technology. It's so good. I like- f I forget so often that I can like fix proportions and whatnot when I'm working on computers, even though that is primarily where I do art. It's... Yeah, it's um, totally no okay. Yeah, it's like, because I'm, you know, it's just hardwired from, like, when, I guess, you know, like, when I, maybe you started, uh, drawing of, like, oh, I gotta erase this, I gotta redo it. Just over and over and over again. It's, uh, Sketching an old fashioned sketchbook the other day. What? And, How old timey uh, and quaint! I know, right? I got pencil all over my hand. You know what? I actually kind of love that. I kind of love when I when I've been doing art and then I just see that I've got like the the the, the pencil, the graphite hand, uh, or the uh, when it's just any kind of like media traditional meeting when it gets all over all over your hands. I kind of enjoying it, enjoy it. Not because it feels good or anything, but it's just kinda of like, hey, I accomplished a thing today. Yeah, it's my uh I got down and dirty. Yeah. As you are definitely not a get get in, in the dirt kind of guy. <laughs> no. no. I certainly am not. But yeah, I was definitely missing my uh, easy backspace button. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, I gotta, I gotta look at my protagonist, my, fem my, my trans, trans femme protagonist. I gotta come up with a name for her. Is there a way to make it C related? Um, probably. Uh, let me think. Or like aquatic in some way. I mean, there's there are lots of aquatic inspired names. I just have to think of them. Uh, let's see. So we could say it's Meredith, because it starts with Mare, mm -hmm. which is uh, French for C. I believe. <laughs> um, anything... Man, it's like, I know them and then I get put on the spot and I can't think of a single one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on, check on chat, see if they have any suggestions. There's nobody in chat. Oh, we're on our own. Uh, okay. Oh. We're doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. Okay, okay. Um... There are Narids, Meredith, I believe Ron, spelled R-A-N, is a goddess of the sea. I think that might be Norse. Oh, let me think. Now, what is going on with this collar? Let me try to fix that. Is it popped? Um, n no, not not in the w not in the way that we think of it being popped. It's just the proportions are kind of off. Gotcha. I know how I could fix it by erasing it and pretending that it's never there. That that she's wearing like a vest over it. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it by not fixing it, which is sometimes how you need to fix things. Which is how you fix things sometimes. Yep. 
No, I, I've become much more generous to myself of like, maybe you should just give up and try something else. <laughs> maybe it's just not working today. It's a good artist tip. Give yeah. yourself some credit. Yeah. And just, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, don't force it. Something, something we all, that we all have to learn. Yep. Okay. That's a fellow perfectionist. All right. I I'm totally gonna, get it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bad and look up. Motion names for girls. If uh, it makes you feel any better, I did look up what uh, Uzi looks like. So I want, uh, That's fine. Weapons. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not great at, at weapons either. But action salmon, he's a weapons expert. Oh, of course. He knows all the weapons, and so he has he has respect for this gymnast slash dancer slash slash waiter uh, who is able to to the, she knows her way around a punch, and is and you know with the dancing thing very strong, very agile. Mm hmm. Too. Yeah, I've had a little practice. You don't. You want to walk home safe, you better learn how to take care of yourself. That we agree. Keep finding ones that I'm not, I'm not quite finding ones that fit. Uh, and I gotta hurry. <laughs> Winking in by the creativity once again. Oh man, it just it all went into one spot. Marley. Ooh, that's good. It's, uh, I, like I mean, that. it, it says it's from the the lake meadow and means pleasant wood, but um, mar. I mean, it's part. It's part of the because like Maris is also like in Marissa. It has that prefix. Mm -hmm. So I think Marley is her name. Put in. Now that's definitely not how you spell featuring. Yo, I like Action Salmon and Marley. They're... they're rad? <laughs> I am, yeah. The I am, badassery I, in this I'm, I'm really impressed. <laughs> I mean, I will, I will watch this movie and read this novelization. Oh, uh, 100%. Oh, man. And bring on the sequels. Ooh. So many. They're gonna be so good. Action Salmon and and Marley. Oh nope, I can't move all of it. Let me see if I can just move her. <laughs> I was gonna say I can move action salmon over a bit so they're back to back. Yeah. I think uh Oh boy. This one? I just wanna move a little bit this way and maybe so that way you can get a action salmon maybe a little bit away from the text. Oh, yeah, and while I do that, okay, I know, and I got one more thing. Edit. No! Ah! Oh, God. Oh, no! Do what, do what, do what, do what? No, no, no! Oh, I want to deselect. <laughs> the artist's worst nightmare. I got the tagline. Which I will move somewhere else. 
gonna say, how's this place one? That's Should good. More. No, I can I can put. Uh, let me move this. Move the canvas. And this I actually will put in the in the foreground. Uh, that's right. I can fit it on the screen now. I keep like forgetting how things work. So that's good. I'll just keep it simple. You can fix it in post. Exactly. Which we don't do. But we don't have to tell anyone that. We, we don't, so they don't allow us a post. like they don't allow us to have grids <laughs> to make the letters look good. <laughs> the grids. How do you like this? How do you like the tagline? They're fishing for trouble. Yeah, I mean... I mean that... I guess, okay. Let me just move the featuring Marley over a little bit. And then I think we've definitely got... The first in the Action Salmon series, Hades Galley. Oh, wow. Love Marley, love Action Salmon. I'm ready for this. And we're gonna take a photo to send it to our evil bosses. Done it. I fix his eyeball first. No, oh, okay, let me wait. <laughs> let me know when it's fixed. It is fixed. Okay, is cool. Done. Right. You know, it might be in, in the later ser later in the series, he'll get a robotic eye or something. Oh, that would rule. That would rule, which is why it's It's happening. gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And you know what? We only have about uh, 20 minutes left in our current mission. And so I think maybe... Maybe that could be part of the, the follow-up. Uh, let me... Galley. Oh man, so cool. So cool. Because, um, we can't just have one thing. No, we have to have more than one thing. Yeah. Okay. No. So. Somehow we do here. Alright. So I think you can leave Action Salmon there. And then we can iterate upon him. Delete selection. Okay, all right. So, so we've already established that he's gonna have a robot eye. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's it's happening. It's happening. Okay. So then, in the in the requested evil overlord follow up. Oh man, sorry, I'm late. I'm at the movies. The return of Action Sam and his biggest adventure yet. Yes, absolutely, it's the best. <laughs> okay. Um, you think you're at the movies now. Yes, you, yeah, you thought you were at the movies earlier? <laughs> okay. In a world where we're all swimming up the street. Yes. Well right. said. Okay. So the, the trope that I got was a love declaration. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's not Marley. No, that's yeah, that's it's been done. And I know what you're thinking, it hasn't, mm -hmm. not with the salmon, but it's been done. No, no. I, I think maybe this has to be a love de decoration from another um, animal person. And it's a hammerhead shark. Yes. Okay, so I, I, I'm i going to say um, scoot action salmon to the left, and I'll try to do a quick, quick sketch in of... Uh, of the love, the love interest. Granted, we don't know if it's reciprocated. You're only you're gonna find that out later. You're gonna have to watch. Tune in. Make sure you okay. You get to you get to upgrade action salmon. Oh, you know what you could do? You could flip him. 
if you want him to be facing Ooh, the other direction. That's a cool idea. Change things up a bit. <laughs> I think you over flipped. <laughs> I flipped too much. Just anxious. So I think maybe maybe um, Hammerhead Shark was a friend from back in the day. Got mixed up in um, some kind of overfishing industry. Because in addition to hating wage theft, Action Salmon hates um, the destruction of the natural world. And salmon is a defender of nature. Yes, absolutely. Because otherwise, you know, they're not getting, there won't be any more salmon, much less any more Action Salmon. Exactly. You can't have an action salmon without action salmon in Roe versus Wade Two. <laughs> this time, it's personal. <laughs> oh man. Well, the thing is that I'm gonna. Okay, I have to switch over to chat and make sure. You have to. I'm going. I'm going to add a, add a quick correct correction. Row versus Wade. Wait, is that kind of fish? Because because you because you row a boat ah! and you wade in the ocean. Yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. See, you know what? I think the evil overlords are going to be pleased with this first recorded episode. I think we're doing pretty well. They've gotta be right. They've gotta be. This kills. Check on, check on, check. Well played, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Sometimes, sometimes I really get something done well. <laughs> I understand that the hammerhead shark would probably be even bigger than this, but you know, just like Action Salmon, um, this hammerhead shark is their own fish person. Sometimes nature plays by its own rules. Mm -hmm. And that's, I, that is definitely a line that Action Salmon has said before. Oh yeah, right before blowing some dude straight to hell. Oh yeah. Where, the, where they deserve to be for their wanton disrespect of, of wage workers and the environment. We're, I'm gonna, we're gonna fudge the tail here. To give it some extra appendages. As you can see, I mean, we already fudged a whole lot with uh, the anatomy of Action Salmon, because you see how buff Action Salmon is. There we go. A little, little bit more. There's a little bit more. We'll put this so it's dramatically in the background. Dramatically. In the Dramatic. Background. Emphatically. Yes. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sketch in some kind of explosion.
feel feel free to fill that in since I got a whole darn darn shark to go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say that robot eye is pretty cool. Yeah, I gave it some flair. It's it's not just for function, it's no. also for form. Yo, oh, yes. I you know some people don't realize this, but you know, sometimes action salmon just gets into aesthetics. Exactly. Wants to look intimidating, also. Yeah, good. I mean that's you know, he he will admit it. Part of the buffness is just pure vanity. You know? He wants to live, he wants to, you know, appreciate himself. He respects his own um, anthropomorphic fish body. Yeah, uh, Acton Sam, it's also about body positivity. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm sure uh, Action Sam is, you know, in addition to being misspecied, um, has experienced body shaming. You know, for not being yeah. a fatty enough salmon. Exactly. Okay, this is supposed He's to be kidding. flowers, but it just kind of looks like uh, cotton candy. <laughs> Delicious flowers. All right, we don't, don't. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna have to wrap up this. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna- we're just gonna go with the jumpsuit. I'm just gonna not elaborate on that. <laughs> nope. Off with a good old jumpsuit. Do we have a name for this love interest? Not yet. I mean, it's a hammerhead shark. So it could be Hamish, maybe? I don't know, I'm not really feeling Hamish. How about you? Oh, Hamish. are hard. Names are hard, and it's the fun, it's, it's a, I was gonna say the funnest part, but this is the pretty part, so, uh, <laughs> We've actually been doing pretty well with this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Action Salmon is just Action Salmon, to be fair. We don't actually know Action Salmon's real name. It's like, um, High Plains Drifter. You know, it's just, it's just, I don't know, they're just the Drifter. We don't know their actual name. But I think that I think the, the hammerhead shark definitely needs a name. Chat makes a good point. Is it a bouquet of sea anemones? It That's, can that, it can that could be, be romantic. It could be. Uh, 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 uh. Now, if I can remember what a sea anemone looks like, I'm pretty sure it's like... Oh, it's definitely not like that. Let me go back to this one. Okay, okay. Really, I'm kind of using SpongeBob SquarePants as my reference for sea anemones. I mean, maybe I don't know what sea anemones but I think that's what they look like. It's kind of what they look like, depending on what they are. Listen, you're a librarian and I'm just a random dude. We don't work for an aquarium. <laughs> this is true. 
Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, because the evil overlords are hoarding all, their, all the money, they are, they are not providing us with any kind of experts to help us. I would say those don't not look like seeing enemies. Yeah! Sit here, sit here. An old friend calls action salmon Sam. Because it sounds like salmon. Sam. Don't use your human names on me. <laughs> but they call him it anyway. Alright, this is important. Is it abundantly clear that this pulled the pin out of that grenade? Oh, oh my gosh. Ugh. Action Salmon, going hard. Yeah, there's already an explosion behind Action Sam, and there's another. Well, he's not gonna look in the explosion. That's perfect. Oh, he won't, duh! He won't do it. Why? Why would he? Because he's a cool guy, and as the song, I think there was a song says, "Cool guys don't look at the explosions." They were right. like a broken heart. You know, it's not entirely unlike a broken heart. <laughs> oh, Sammy, be careful. It's action, Salmon. The last time. Action, Salmon. In. Roe versus Wade. I mean, this could be either Roe or Wade. That could- one of those could definitely be, um, could be the Hammerhead Shark. True. Action Salmon, I need your help. I'm- I'm leaning towards it's- it's Wade. What do you think? Wade is a name. Wade is indeed a name. I mean, they're, you know, they're both names, but, you know. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Roe actually could just be R-O-E, because it's a kind of, um... Yo, that's salmon spawn! That's- it's- it's salmon eggs. That's what Roe is. Oh, snap. Is I'm it really? I'm changing it back! I'm changing it back! It's too perfect! Oh, <laughs> And it's like, it's not gonna be immediately evident when people see this later, but we'll explain it and it'll be really good. Here, we all row the food. That's a so dark. <laughs> row the food versus Wade. A shark. <laughs> there. Circle gets a square. There we go. <laughs> we'll just, I'll just put in some random seaweed down here. Maybe her, her, her dad is. Yeah, maybe. And then there's some really annoying guy named Brett Kavanaugh. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're we're a little salty today, just like the ocean, and always. Like action salmon. Always like action salmon. Paul, I think I think we did it. I think we've put in we some great have. entries. Oh, and I just noticed 
the the new anchor um tattoo. It's, yes, it's <laughs> very good. <laughs> he gets that between between the oh, first yeah. and second stories. Yeah. Because I love the ocean day. No, oh, I mean I I can certainly imagine Action Sam and having a slew of old school navy tattoos. Because he's a merchant marine animal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, that would, that would also be a very funny joke, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I try. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna save... Save a photo of this. Bro. Versus... Wait. Even put in the... Put in the file name, food versus shark. <laughs> Ah, oh, wow. All right. Hi, how, how you feeling, Paul? I feel like we got stumped today. I feel great. I don't think we got stumped. I think we did pretty well. Uh, the the conspiracy theorists of the sea, sea anemones. Okay, okay. I feel like we can workshop at that Ooh, a little like bit that. more. I like that. But but yeah. I think C C. Oh, I'm sorry. C anonymies. I got Ooh. it. I got it that time. All right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but regardless, uh, I'm, I'm feeling like we nailed, we did we did pretty well for our first ever recorded stunt the artist and pretty much right on time. Yeah, I think that'll that'll keep those uh, those big wigs off our backs for at least a week. Oh uh, yeah, uh, in fact, almost exactly a week be because we will be uh, we will be doing this again next Thursday at eight because it is. Uh, it is, it is Love Your Library Month, and as you can see here, uh, Love Your Library Month is all September long in Allegheny County, so if you want to support Boone Library, or any other public library in the area, you know, go to loveyourlibrary.org, enter Moon Library, and uh, just by enter, I mean just look for it. All donations to um, public libraries will be doubled this month, and that's why we're doing this every week. Mm -hmm. Not only because the evil overlords are holding money hostage, but because there's a possibility that we can get more out of you, yes. the library fans. This no. is not extortion. Love your libraries. Love them. <laughs> um, and, you know, we appreciate every penny that you have. So, <sighs> yes, we will be back next Thursday at 8 for more Stump the Artist. Paul? feeling good Five's all around Five, high fives all around all right mm -hmm. you all have a good night action seven demands it oh. <laughs>